Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, have you ever had the King Arthur Excalibur moment with your racket? Have you ever been the chosen one for a racket? Has a racket chosen you? Stay tuned. So, the moment of truth. Are you the chosen one? Like King Arthur, Excalibur, right? Now, where am I going with this? I'll tell you. Hypothetically, hypothetically, I've been playing with this head racket, the MP, latest version, for let's say a year and a half now. I have three of these, I play well with them, okay? One day, I break all three strings, right? Or I forget them, okay? And somebody hands me the new Pro Staff. V13, standard. And I play lights out, right? I beggle my opponent that day, 6060, right? Suddenly, I'm freaking King Arthur, and this is Excalibur. We were meant for each other, okay? I have a tournament this Saturday, and what do I do? I, I'm, bringing, I'm bringing Excalibur, aren't I? I'm gonna buy two of these, or three of these, or 10 of these, and I'm gonna bring it to my tournament, because suddenly, I'm invincible, right? Because of this racket, right? Is that a mistake, or will you dominate? I've seen this many, many times, right? You get new racket, you expect to win, right? You think the racket is gonna go on autopilot and win for you, right? I got my, my buddy Coach Rob here today with me, and we're gonna talk about this a little bit more. Coach, so let's say Johnny just made the decision from going to this racket to this racket, right? And he went, he played lights out today. Right, and he's gonna expect to freaking win this tournament on Saturday, right? What do we think gonna is gonna happen on Saturday, Coach? Uh, I think it's not gonna turn out too well because he's gonna think the racket did all the work when really it's the player. So he's got a new racket in his hand that day. He probably watched the ball grade. He was super excited to feel something different, um, and then he's gonna go out thinking, I can just show up and throw my new rackets out there, and and it'll win for me. Exactly. This is not autopilot and this is not a plane. You can't set it and forget it, okay? You still have to go out and play the match. So I've seen this probably over a hundred times um, with various aged people and I would like to think that, well actually I'm going to just tell you it hasn't turned out 100% of the time. Like they've always come back and said, yeah, crashed and burned, right? Why did they crash and burn, Coach Rob? Because what's going on there? Usually you're, you're not, you don't have that same feeling you did the first day out. You're expecting that racket just to hit every shot to be a winner. You're no longer attention to the ball like you were before. Before, you, when you first grabbed it, you were really probably looking at the ball clearly. It felt fresh. You were excited to play with something different, brought a little different energy and joy to the game. And then you go back out thinking that same thing's going to happen right. because of the racket when really it's the player and the crash and burn happens. Exactly. So you're, you played so well that day, your expectations is way up here way up here you expect to play the same way um, you expect maybe your opponent to play the same way back at you every ball is going to be easy not every ball is going to be easy okay somebody's going to hit harder someone's going to hit softer it's a different game it's a different place right you're probably not going to feel the same the racket is not going to play 
for you. But, so this is some advice that I have for you. Even if you're thinking about this, even if you're in the middle of changing rackets and you've been playing with this racket for a year, year and a half, right? Your muscle memory is already ingrained with this racket. Therefore, you know the capabilities of this racket. Going to anything different, even if you played lights out with that one, right, is not a good decision. Because what's going to happen uh, when you're actually out there? What's going to happen, Coach Rob? You, do, do you, if, if this was, Johnny was your kid, right, and they're like, I have to play with that racket. I have to play with that because I played so well today. Like, what do you tell them? What do you tell them? I say, Johnny, we're going to get your rackets restrung, and we're going to get you ready for the tournament. And when it, the season, when the tennis season's over, we're going to then look to making a switch. And that's when we're going to go out, try some rackets, probably try a new head. If you knew you liked the Wilson, try the Pro Staff. Try some other rackets um, and, and do it. You would never do that right before a tournament. That, that's the worst time to make a switch. But, you know, wait till your season's over, and then start trying some different rackets if you're thinking that you want to make a switch. Right. Think of it this way, guys. When Roger Federer, I want to say seven, eight, nine years ago, when he switched from that racket, the Pro Staff 90, right, and then went blacked out. Remember that one year he went blacked out? No cosmetic, no nothing, just a W, right? He was testing out various sizes, various weights, various rackets from Wilson that they were producing for him, right? But it took him a whole year, right? To actually make the full change into this racket. So he went from literally a 90 square inch head to a 97 square inch head, right? Because he felt that that would you know, with all his playing, that this suited him the best with his swing style. Now, Rob, like this isn't an easy change, right? I no. mean, you're going from a wooden racket essentially to a, a modern day racket, right? Right. So it took Roger a year. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's he's going the right about it the right way. I mean, he's got the engineers behind at Wilson changing tweaking the, the weights, the balance, to get it to the point where he felt that it was right for him. Right, so, I mean, if it took Roger a year, how long should it take for us um, to do this, right? I would say at least, yeah, probably on the, the fast track side, a month to three months, right? To get our muscle memory kind of in tuned, especially I mean, if we're making a drastic change like this, right? Right. And remember, Roger's playing every day. Right. He's hitting balls at least every day. Exactly. So us mere mortals, right? I mean, this from this to this isn't that far apart. It's far enough, but it's not that far apart. But I think you should at least give yourself a month to three months to settle in, get used to that racket, see if, you know, Lightning strikes twice instead of once before jumping in head first. So for all you guys thinking about doing this, uh, for all you guys that will think about doing this in the future, I would like to advise you to think twice, right? Stick with your own racket first. Uh, when it's time to make a change during some downtime in your schedule, then test out one of the new ones and then go from there. Coach Rob, anything else to add? I would say when you're making the switch, if you've been using a head uh, or the Wilson, try the newer model in the racket that you have because there be subtle tweaks and differences to make, uh, it'll be easier for you to make the adjustment. If you're going from you know a 90 to a 110, it's gonna be harder to, to get used to it. So try to uh, go from what you've had and go up uh, to the newer model. Right, yeah, the, the easiest thing would be stay with the same model, just go with the newer version, because usually the balance, the weight, um, and the swing weight 
will be the same. Uh, they usually just tweak it very, very minorly so that it'll just be a slight feel difference. So, okay guys, I hope that helped you um, to make your current and or future decisions. But that decision should not be made very lightly unless, you know, you're that type of person and you're a racket collector. All right, so I'd like to thank Rob for joining me today uh, for hopefully giving you some great advice. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.